it's not the biggest issue for the country, but uh, for me as a politician, it's a pretty big issue. On a daily basis, I get shocks uh, in my office, and actually daily basis can be minute basis. So that it got to a point where I was scared to touch the doors. Um, so effectively what we've done is a whole lot of things. So we started with the taped handles. That's been the least effective thing that we've done, right? So we put those on, I still got the shocks every time I touched. Uh, it has made a difference, but the, the shocks are still there every now and again. I still have a very long pause before I touch any door handle or lift in this building. We then moved to the um, plants and uh, I'm squirting those and you'll see, look, around the uh, office, whereas there were none, there is now one, two, three, four, five, might be six uh, in the, the office. I'm meant to be Minister of Energy and Electricity, but um, I've got no control over this. And the other thing we've done here is, um, which if I keep my foot on, foot on this, or feet on this, I find I'm pretty good, is this rubber mat, which There's somehow... There's wire on your desk. Yeah, so I, I, I religiously sit in, feet on mat, and that makes quite a big difference. Some people are blaming the carpet. You've got new carpet in here. Yeah. which is different to the carpet that's out in the rest of um, the office. Is that what, one of the things that's to blame? Uh, electricity is always a problem, so that the shocks have kind of always been there, but the carpet has made it a lot worse. And so I literally, for a while, they couldn't touch a door handle uh, without getting a shock. But now the, the steps we've taken have kind of improved at maybe 60%. But, um, you know, I still, I still hesitate. There's one other thing that we've got over here which is um, here, this humidifier. So um, to be honest, I've got no idea how it works, but you know, we, we stick that on, um, that sort of pumps out a bit of mist. The plants and the, the humidifier are making the biggest difference, but you know, there comes a point when you don't want to get too wet in your office. Down here, um, we have, it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment, but I think there's a, there's a bulb, we put some water in that, and that also sort of helps with the situation. That looks pretty desperate, a bowl of water <laughs> just in the corner. Desperate times call for desperate yeah. measures. I've heard uh, rumours of you walking around uh, with a spray bottle spraying the carpet. Is, well, does that help as well? well? If, I, if I keep spraying on a daily basis, I don't get the shocks. So, you know, it's an important remedial step to take. Are you worried that your carpet will get a bit mouldy if you keep spraying water on it? Or? No, look, I think it'll be okay. I think, look, pr primarily we're watering the plants, but look, just a bit of dampening uh, on the old carpet it ha helps as well. Look, a bit of judicious squirting, squirting every day with that water bottle is uh, a great way to work in things. Uh, I think it is a common problem. I, I for some reason, have found this, I think, at, at kind of um, worse than anyone. I literally, uh, with the new carpet, and couldn't touch a handle without getting a shock, and I was getting scared. Actually, I couldn't touch my cell phone, which is a real crisis. This is not the electric future I'm talking about. <laughs> it is not affecting my work rate as a Minister of the Crown, and uh, I just want to emphasise that, you know, that's uh, in, in, in regard to the issues New Zealand faces, this is not right up there. But for me personally, it did for a while there make me frightened to touch any door or my cell phone while I'm in the beehive. Look, it's going to take me a while to get through this, but I think with the procedures we've put in place, I'll get there.